I don't have years for meditations and uh, positive thinking and hopefully it works. Oops. I want it like this. If you want that, this is it, <laughs> basically. But it comes with warnings. <laughs> Drink me. <laughs> Let's take the obvious. Howdy! Are you afraid of the change? Do you believe in fate? Do you think a human is just an ant on the planet? If it's a yes, then this is probably not for you. Bye! <laughs> Have a good life! There are many ways to see the world. Each of us obviously has a unique, unrepeatable perspective, vision, which is based on our personal experience, personal beliefs, knowledge, etc., etc. One of the ways to see the world is by separating objective from uh, subjective. So what's the difference? The objective reality is based on um, the world around as uh, consequences. Consequences, fate, blaming anyone but yourself, or maybe sometimes blaming yourself, but still having an accent on uh, the world around you, thinking that it's acting on its own somehow. Subjective point of view approach is uh, when you accept that you are the center of the world and everything around you happens because of you, because of how you see the world. The specialty of the objective approach is that um, we can control it. It just happens around us and we either adapt or we try to survive or we try to change normally unsuccessfully, sometimes successfully, but through hard work, through, you know, all of the <laughs> normal lifestyle. With the subjective approach, the specialty is that uh, because you are uh, the reason of everything that happens around you, you can control it. <laughs> everything that happens around you happens because you need something, you need to understand something. It's a data. Uh, it's a data for you to see and process. As soon as you process it, it will change because you want to. Because you need this data in order to change the situation, uh, change whatever is happening around you, you want the situation that happens around you. The trick is to find uh, all the wants, all the desires that cause it. What exactly you want to see by having this mess or wherever it is. What is causing it? You find it and you change it by using your tool. Now, the tools. Obviously, because we are so advanced by now, we humans, <laughs> Uh, there are tons of different uh, tools for everyone to use. Uh, someone likes uh, meditations, positive thinking, trip somewhere, <laughs> therapy, psychology, life coaching, etc. For me, that's too slow. <laughs> Therefore, I made my own thing. I want like this. <laughs> but it's not for everyone. I'm making this video to warn you about. It's too powerful. This is a tool which is not a joke. It's like when your computer works and you kind of have pop-ups here and there. So you know that something is wrong. It's not working. It's not supposed to flash <laughs> all of a sudden. It's too slow or wherever. It might be infected. There might be virus. But in general, it works. You can do your Word document or whatever. So you don't want to tinker until it breaks. <laughs> <laughs> like, let it be. So if you're one of those, you probably want to keep it that way. It works. You can kind of do it and it's fine. If you're happy with that, you probably don't need this. I do have a basic level though, which I uh, made specifically for those who want to, you know, put a bandage, sort of, on certain situations. Uh, if you are in crisis, if you want not completely rewire your brain, but pinpoint at certain moments that annoy you during life. Uh, boss not promoting, uh, demanding wife, <laughs> dog pooping. <laughs> 
<laughs> every day on the floor in the center of the living room. If you have something like this, then basics might work for you without completely changing the whole uh, objectivity to subjectivity. But the funny part will be that you will be surrounded by miracles. They will be happening everywhere around you. So on one side, you will continue thinking that it's God's will or destiny or luck or whatever. But another side of you, you will know that you've done something because you've been doing something. <laughs> when you have a situation and then you do a bit within an hour, sometimes in five minutes, process it, fix it as I call, and then boom. <laughs> you will have this sometimes, eh, I kind of know, but I don't know, so. <laughs> but it's fun and basic level is also going to be a first step for those who will go advanced mode afterwards because uh, just as uh, with anything in life before you go completely different you have to prepare a workplace so so to speak which in case of brain is sort of cleanup when you will be faced with all the old outdated patterns of thinking generational cultural uh, etc they will not match your current new desire to live uh, differently to live happily creatively etc you will be basically forced by yourself to clean it and it will be tinted by whatever experience you have had by the moment which exactly is like data wherever data you have in your mind that you will see it you will recognize it if you're a gamer if you're a science fiction fan if you are extrasensory stuff bdsm like, it all will have specific little details everything around you will make perfect sense leveling <laughs> or like doing different levels in the game uh, boss fight exorcist will have all new kind of understanding for you and metrics my goodness we are humans we're children uh, we get bored at some point you'll think okay i had enough of this game which new game can i do what i want to do oh i want to become an actor boom <laughs> you have a tool you can do anything if you don't get what you want that's because you are the reason why don't you want see the potential behind it so consider this an invitation do you want a blue pill or do you want a red pill? <laughs> Choose wisely. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. I like comparing it with the puppet. You know, you have a puppet with a cross on top, probably, and it has a bunch of uh, the, um, how you call it, the threads, and you're hanging. So you cut one of them, boom, you're hanging like this. You cut another one, boom, you're hanging like that. And uh, while you're cutting all of this, and you don't know which one, because, you, I mean, like, where is the consciousness? You can't see it, right? That's why you need the data around you, so that you can see and understand, ah, I see abused child because I'm abusing myself somewhere. The responsibility, shame, guilt, generations have this reward-punishment model. If you've done something wrong, mm, boo-hoo, you're such a bad, you're going to be punished. Therefore, you're in a prison, you are in a relationship that don't make you... You're in a prison, I mean, of your mind, wherever. You just don't have bravery to accept it. When you look into the mirror, you address yourself in the mirror and you say, I refuse to break my soul. I refuse to abuse myself. <laughs> Try to do that. And if you cry, which you probably will, you will know what I mean. Because everything in you will be screaming. But if you mean it, because if you don't mean it, <laughs> if you like the way you live, yet again, go, please. You don't need this. It will change your life. <laughs> and you won't be able to have a blue pill. <laughs> there is no one. You are infected now. <laughs>
Что проворачивается? Ах, мы же зря уехали. Зря мы уехали, разворачивайся. Давай, быстро, стоп! So let me introduce you to the minuses of this adventure because, because I want to start with the minuses and finish with the pluses. And why do I say that? While the most lowest, the most, the lowest, my English, <laughs> that was very snobbish, wasn't it? <laughs>